So back before civilization was founded, we dreamt up this show called Breaking the News. And one of the rules for breaking the news, well, other than we didn't have any, were we wanted to push some boundaries, kind of do stories that you're probably not going to see on the regular shows, something that's a little out there in a different way. And this one is out there. But in an out there kind of way, we're talking about UFOs because, yeah, there's a day for that. Today's UFO day, apparently. And a list was released today ranking Minnesota 35th for UFO sightings. Good on you. That might be the most Minnesota thing I've heard today before we even get to that segment. But moving on, any hoosies. We'd like to know if you've ever seen an unidentified flying object by voting in our poll. That's right. I'd also like you to explain it to me on Twitter because I really want to know what you saw. You can do that, that voting part, through our app or go to the care11.com slash vote now. The care11.com is actually a website, and I just sounded ridiculous when I was trying to explain it. But any hoosies, let's get to the story about the UFOs and vote while you watch. Adrian brought us. It's July 2nd, a day dedicated to the existence of unidentified flying objects, summed up with three words. World UFO Day? Is that, are we supposed to see something? I don't know, have you seen anything? There was something up there, right above that building, I think. When? Just a minute ago, didn't you see it? Well, we only came outside because it was a beautiful day, not because we were looking for any UFOs, but if y'all find some, let me know. <laughs> Unidentified flying objects to basically anything that science can't explain. <laughs> but this scientist, May Jemison, so fills in the blanks. That I always wanted to be a scientist. Now, kids always want to be. They love science because we come out of the shoot excited about the world around us, right? She was the first African American woman in space aboard the space shuttle Endeavor. We asked the retired astronaut the tough question that goes hand in hand with UFOs Do you believe in aliens? So here's the thing, the whole idea that there is life away from the, the Earth, there, how could there not be? There are just too many of the conditions that have to be the same throughout this incredible universe that has trillions of stars and trillions and trillions of planets, you know, that we would be the only life. So yes, I believe where you call them aliens, they don't look like Mr. Spock, they're not gonna look like the Predator, any of that, but certainly there is life outside of this planet. Who better to qualify the claims than a retired astronaut? And how's this for timing? A new list is out ranking states with the most unidentified flying object sightings per capita. Washington state topped the list with 78 sightings for every 100,000 people. I'm sure people think that they saw them. Do you believe in UFOs? I think it is possible, yeah. The universe is so big. No. <laughs> nope. And in case you're wondering, Minnesota is ranked 35th, with about 30 UFO sightings for every 100,000 people. If the states that have the highest sightings are in, like northern states, maybe there's something to do with like the visibility in the sky. That makes sense. Wow. It must be the North Star up here. Texas came in last. Too hot down there. The UFO doesn't want to be flying down south. I hope to see one soon. How close is a close encounter? No one really knows. I love that Adrian started our morning by asking us about UFOs with absolutely no explanation as to why. Okay, so 54% of you say you have seen, no, I'm sorry, 52, 51, 52, okay. Over 50% of you say you have seen a UFO, which is strange since we didn't have that many people in Minnesota seeing it, which leads me to believe that all the UFO sighting folks watch breaking the news. I don't know what the correlation is there, but I like it. I like it a lot. And a UFO, an unidentified flying object. I've seen lots of them. All right. 